We are gonna be counting down the very best Quest 2 games of all time. Starting off with number 12, Pistol Whip. With its unique sharpshooting beat-based gameplay, which is often compared to Beat Saber with bullets, we stream down corridors, blasting bad guys on some awesome tunes, while at the same time trying to avoid all the incoming fire and get your total score as high as possible. With levels going from easy to complete god mode, that will make you feel like you're John Wick himself. And with loads of new content and DLC being added to this game, this neon lit shooter is definitely worth giving a shot. Number 11. Until you fall. If you enjoy roguelike games, then playing them in VR will completely blow you away. Because you will be tackling runs of randomized dungeons, where you have to start over from scratch every time your health drops to zero. Which is a very similar mechanic that we for example see back in games like Hades. But playing it in VR is what makes it even better. With a fast moving progression system that keeps the game rewarding and also addictive. And while personally the combat is not as realistic as some other VR titles, it is still a rock solid game if you're looking for a challenge. Number 10. A Township Tale. From mining rocks to chopping wood and fighting off enemies while you strive to rebuild a once abandoned town. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft VR. But just like that, A Township Tales is also a resource gathering game with a big social element as well. However, I think this game still needs a lot of work. While offering a lot of immersive interactions and loads of content, the game itself had a lot of rough edges. And recently, this is happening to a lot of games. Taking the example of the infamous Cyberpunk where calling it rough edges was just putting it nicely. But altogether, A Township Tale is a very enjoyable game, with loads of future potential. Number 9. Onward. While probably not needing an introduction, this multiplayer VR shooter is for the hardcore gamers out there, with a big focus on realism, making it stand out from its competition. And coming to the quest too, it did suffer a little bit in the visuals, but while you're aiming down your sight, scanning for targets, you will barely notice it. But keep in mind that there are really some high level players out there, and if you're new to the game, these people will pretty much go like... But besides the high skill level, it is definitely one of the best VR shooters out there. Number 8. 11 Table Tennis which, just like the name implies, is a simulation of, well, table tennis. But for some reason, in VR, it just works. And this is thanks to the amazing physics, which behave exactly like you would expect in real life. And soon, it will feel like tapping that ball with your controller is as natural as if it was the real pedal. On top of that, playing it with friends gives you a rare VR experience that almost feels like a genuine replacement for the real thing. And although the gameplay is simple, 11 Table Tennis is definitely one of the best games out there. Number 7. Beat Saber. You know there is no VR game list without Beat Saber on there. From viral videos of people slashing blocks to people destroying everything around them, this game completely blew up once it came out. With its addictive lightsaber slashes on some amazing music, with the only negative point being the limited amount of tracks. Unless you want to spend some big cash on getting the latest albums. But all around, I think Beat Saber is a perfect introduction for anybody that is new to VR. But also can become very challenging for all those VR veterans out there. Number 6. Population 1. Often compared to the Fortnite of VR, this is a classic battle royale game. Team up with your friends to be the last one standing. But it is the mechanics of the game that make it so good. From gliding across the map while shooting at everything you can see, to climbing up huge towers. Population 1 is just an awesome game. Both being challenging, sometimes frustrating, this is definitely the best battle royale game that you can get on your quest too. Number 5. Echo VR which is the esports that you would get if you would play Tron in outer space. Trying to score your frisbee into your opponent's team goal while doing this all in zero gravity. And adding a little bit of combat to it to be able to temporarily knock out your opponents. This is the game where having a good strategy and teamwork will earn you that victory. And it is from the company that also made the amazing VR title called Lone Echo. Which for now is only playable on PC VR. But if you want to get a taste of that outer space Tron experience, then Echo VR is your best bet. Number 4. Blade and Sorcery Nomad 
from slicing, electrifying, to complete chaos in general, where you will be fighting in a physics-driven sandbox game, where the most important thing is the combat itself, by giving your character a real heft to it, so every blow feels like a truly tactile sensation, with the recent addition of a new dungeon mode. Plus the unparalleled mod support turns this game into a fan's dream, making it one of the essentials for any VR user. Although it still needs to fix a lot of bugs, as long as if you're looking for a good combat game, then you will get your fair share of slicing and dicing in Blade and Sorcery. Number 3 Zenith The Lost City If you've been following this channel, you probably knew that this was gonna be on the list. Because Zenith is the new kid on the block. And a lot of people are very excited about it. Because this is one of the biggest VR MMORPGs that you can play right now. With an extensive leveling system, a huge world to explore and plenty of great social interactions. Putting in some awesome sword combat and probably the craziest cooking system you have seen in any VR game. This game personally completely blew me away. But it is also important to keep in mind that Zenith isn't finished yet. There are an ocean of new updates and bugs that need to be fixed. But the future roadmap is looking very promising. By adding new content over time completely free of charge. Which can go from new classes, quests, locations and even storyline elements. And I think we are just at the start of this amazing road for Zenith The Lost City. With a lot of other VR MMORPGs. RPGs probably to come out soon too. Number 2. Resident Evil VR Who would have thought that this classic game would be such a perfect fit for virtual reality? With motion control aiming, physical attacks and a lot of new interactions. And although this is a port of a very old 2D game, they definitely put a lot of effort in it. And while I was personally very worried when this was first announced, I was happily surprised right after. Given that the original game is often called one of the best games of all time, it is only right that it should be so high up on this list. But don't forget, this game can be pretty scary at some points. So if you're new to VR and not into the horror games, keep that in mind before you get into it. Number 1 Walking Dead, Saint and Sinners While I would have loved to put Boneworks or Half-Life Alex on this list, they sadly still do not have a Quest 2 version. But that isn't the case for The Walking Dead, Saint and Sinners. While having the amazing physics combat that is very similar to that one of Boneworks, it will have you wrestling to huge groups of undead, throwing all your energy into every swing and stab. But it is not just a silly sandbox wave-based survival game, and instead offers you a full meaty VR campaign. Going through abandoned villages and houses, while you'll be fighting off zombies, while you might come across some human enemies as well. Add in a little bit of side missions, and hours and hours of content to dive into, and you get one of the best and deepest native VR games ever made. And while I personally wasn't the biggest fan of zombie games, this one is just in a league of its own. But do make sure you have the stomach to handle some of that gore, which rounds up this best Quest 2 game list of all time.